Okay, so I'm just going to be going over the different types of crystals. So one type are called the ionic crystals. Ionic crystals are made up of cations and anions. And the force that's the attractive force that makes cations stick to anions are called columbic forces. And these are just some examples of um, ionic, ionic crystals because of the metal and nonmetal. And so uh, because it's ionic bonds, ionic bonds are really strong. So that's why the properties um, resemble that. That's why, uh, that's why it's hard because it's strong, uh, strong bonds. And then brittle because since it's strong, it's not really flexible. Um, and then high melting point because it's going to resist change. It's going to, since uh, because those bonds are so strong, um, it's going to take a lot of energy to break those bonds. And since um, the, the electrons are pretty fixed, um, it's not going to conduct electricity or heat really well. So covalent crystals are, um, are, are, same, are pretty much the same except for the fact that they have covalent bonds. Um, once again, covalent bonds are pretty strong too, so they're going to maintain these characteristics. Um, uh, diamond and quartz are a good example because they, they show how... Um, the properties are hard and brittle and have a high melting point because they are such strong forces. The next are molecular crystals. Molecular crystals are made up of van der Waal forces such as hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole bonding, dispersion forces. These are relatively weak compared to covalent and ionic bonding. So the properties show that. Um, they're usually soft uh, because because they have weak bonds, low melting point, it doesn't require that much energy to break it because they're weak. Once again, poor conductor of heat and electricity because the electrons are not delocalized. And these are just some examples of um, molecular crystals. Finally, um, metallic crystals. So metallic crystals are made up of metallic bonds. These are just some examples. And the, the thing about metals is that um, their hardness and melting point vary greatly, um, but the thing is they are a good conductor of electricity and heat because the, the electrons are delocalized, allowing them to move more freely than the other three uh, crystals, allowing them to be a good conductor of electricity and heat.